Area Jutanya Garn. This at the par 5 6. This is the shot of the day thus far at Shoal Creek. Okay. Just a beauty. Struggled in this event over the years. This is her 13th round at the U.S. Women's Open. And just her second round in the 60s, lowest of her career. Helped, of course, by this Eagle at six. No doubt about that one. Right in the center, the eight time LPGA winner trying to add this major title to her impressive young resume at Shoal Creek. It's a moment ago at the third. Area Jutania Garn for a birdie at the par five. Should break a little bit left to right on her. Julie, we saw a lot of that a day ago. Players struggling to get the ball to the hole. I think this afternoon the greens would be rolling out just a little bit more. Jutania Garn on the tee here at the par four. Straight away par four here. You see that yardage 421. It's actually the most difficult hole in the golf course today. Not one single bunker on this entire hole. She didn't hit that solidly. You can tell obviously when she lets go with her top hand, but finds the fairways. They look, the resumes look similar in, uh, in the major championship kind of carousel continues. Seven of the last 10 major winners, all first time major winners. Well, all you have to do is win that one and you become a major winner and you know, Sarah James, which she just talked about self-belief and uh, you know, there's not a really a major champion out here that doesn't have self-belief. Here at the fourth, Chitania Garn's got this four birdie to move within three. After hitting a beautiful six iron to this tuck, tuck left hole location. Nicole, I was curious why she took her hand off that swing from the rough. She hit a close shot from that rough. Area off to a good start with the birdie at number one. <coughs> As it'll move right once it gets onto the green down towards the hole. Remain six under for the championship. Area just a moment ago, her third shot. Didn't hit a good drive, had to lay up. And still see that those are full wedge shots. You can spin the ball a lot, you got to control that spin. And that's a good chance for Birdie now. For now, area for a Birdie. To get within three, but it just sneaks by the left side. Going on the tee here, seven. Shot. Just takes that three wood there and tries to hit it up to the left hand side. If she hits driver, that right hand bunker comes into play. Good shot. A bit unlucky there, Nicole, that it didn't roll on down there on that side hill. Area four birdie, solo second. It's gonna just miss right. So she'll settle for a par here at seven. And you really have to be looking about five yards past this whole location, not even flirt with the water. <laughs> Can't believe how far these balls are going. Aria from above the hole. Because both the Juchani Gardens do, don't they? We'll yeah, work correct. With Gary. Oh, she got that to sneak in the right edge. She's made a couple really good par putts. Well, here's the experience in this grouping. Eight career wins. At five two years ago, five of those eight, including the 2016 Women's British Open, her major championship. And so far this year, 13 starts. She's made the cut in all 13 and nine top tens. One at Kings Mill in a three-way playoff.
look at birdie here at the opening hole for area Jutanugarn. Number one in birdies on tour. She can roll it. And now two back. Don't play those two in a best ball. Doesn't carry a driver, at least isn't this week. Three wood, two iron. Yeah, oh, that is blasted. Yeah. Exactly, Paul. You saw a lot of skids the first two days. And you do not want to hit this shot right at this flag stick, right at the green. And a beautiful okay, judge shot. She's got the most experience here, and those three unders better be looking at the seven under, who is now eight. Well, also, it doesn't feel insurmountable. Here's Aria Jutanugarn at three, the par five. You know, Joe, we talked about her, you know, only hit three wood. She has hit driver this year. I played with her at San Francisco, and she hit some beautiful drives, but she goes out on a practice round, and if that first driver goes wayward, she takes it out, puts the three wood in, and then One. she takes the driver out, and then she ends up putting another two iron in to, to complete, complete her set. So it's basically one and done. One and done. Area's gone birdie par on this par five third hole, the second easiest hole today. Good look at birdie for Jutanugar. Hear a loud yell. And she's within one. Now Jutanugarn coming off birdie at four. Oh, and she just ripped it right through the alleyway. Those beautiful oaks. I'm not sure Dustin Johnson can hit pitching wedge 143 yards. That is a very ambitious to think that she could fly it that far, Bradley. Third shot for area Jutanugar. Uh, almost made birdie from in front of the green. Well, I think she better stay right at this flag stick. If she gets too careful and hits it left and short sides herself, We saw Michelle Wee do that moments ago. Now area Jutanugarn, second shot at five. She had a much harder lie there. Ball was down. What a, putt, what a save and still one back. Hard it in round number two. Look out right. Watch out, Creek. Oh, and a good break. You see the hazard stake there on the left. He's going to be forced to lay up now. She'll have that putt to get to four under, six back. And here's area Jutania Garn, second shot of the par five. Well, she hit a poor tee shot and followed it up with a terrible layup. That is just almost inexcusable, the layup into the rough there. See if the heel gets caught in that heavy Bermuda. Shuts that face right down. Yeah, I think with that creek on the right-hand side, maybe made her kind of hood that club going on through. Because practice rounds were either stopped and started or canceled altogether, so some of them were looking at this golf course for the first time this week. Exactly. I mean, they haven't had to me. Maybe that's why we're not seeing a lot of putts made. They haven't been out here to get on the greens and find out the little idiosyncrasies that these greens have. Beautiful par four playing 422 yards today. You got a bunker out there on the right. It's, 300, it's 255 yards. Two of the first three holes. And even though she had missed the fairway, she had a really 
good light sitting up and a nice shot from 172 yards. And well, a she'll good get angle. a nice read too, yeah. She'll get a good read. Says May on her ball, her nickname. <laughs> Shot 67 for the opening round. Taps in for par here at seven at eight. This is a nine iron. She hit nine iron yesterday, well past that front hole location. This hole location in the back right, she's got to carry it over this bunker. Good shot on the upper deck. See that May on her ball, and the reason why they name her May is because four of her eight wins came in May, and so they decided to start naming her May. Well, good thing you got to take those clubs. I mean, he was an Atlanta Brave pit pitcher and practice every other fourth day. Well, he did, even when he was a closer. He talked Bobby Cox into letting him play golf. Perfectly played. Left of the hole. Give her a straight shot in. See where area was at the start of round three. So she does miss on that left side and will walk off the ninth with a par but will be in the lead all by herself. And another hook. Okay. That's a good lie, that ball sitting up. And Back to our leader, Area Jutanugarn. From 148 yards, a pitching wedge Joe out of a beautiful lie. She drew in this left rough. She's birdied this hole both days. Oh. <laughs> Another gorgeous approach. She's three under in the 20 holes she's played today, having to play 10 holes this morning. Dreaded 4 a.m. wake up call to get out here. But I think she's happy she was able to get out here early and play. Just because of the way she's performed today, Brad, she got a nice rhythm this morning and has been able to maintain it. Well, you feel the ground too, don't you? What the conditions are like. Sometimes soon you keep playing when you play your best golf, even if you have to wake up that early. Got to watch her towards the end of the round and... and See how she does here. That is just a seed. What a good drive. What a shot. There's the backstop. Just brilliant. That thing was on a rope. It never never left the the pin. It was impressive. Another putt left short. Goodness me. So a tap in birdie. And the lead will be at least two. Pretty clean card there. That's what you want on a Saturday of a U.S. Open. Okay. Kept area. Here is Jutania Garnet 12. <laughs> By far the worst lie of the day for any of the players. 162 yards as well. Can't see any of the ball. If she gets this here, it'll be amazing. And just able to power it out just in front of the green here, 12. Three for three today, getting the ball up and down. For Aria, see if she can do it here. Go. 
Cool. She's got a little work left. I don't think too much bothers her, Brad. Well, it's a steal. Has bogeyed this hole and parted. Pitching wedge there, Joe, 139 yards. You know what, you've seen one person get the ball the hole consistently, and that's area. She's the most confident player uh, when she arrived. Okay, good one. Yeah. yeah. Leading by three and finding the fairway. Just keeps applying pressure. Relentless. Relentless pressure. Just cruising right now is our leader, Area Jutania Guard. She is off to the races now. This whole lot of fit her eye. Just want to have a lovely little draw. Stand right there, buddy. Good life. Oh, that's a golf. Way by the bunker and now down that hill. Gorgeous shot. She must have listened to the brownie points. <laughs> Perfect position. Left, left hand side. Our leader back at 15, Area Jutania Guard. Just a lob wedge after a 275 yard three with it. Another peppered iron shot. Our fatigue doesn't appear to be a factor for Area today. She played 10 holes this morning, 4 o'clock wake up call. Breaking to the right slightly. That is just a turkey. <laughs> gut center on three in a row. Just making it look easy. There really have been no hiccups. I don't think her target's the flag stick. It's the center of this green. All right, good shot. Good shot. be part. Her. Well, short. Yeah, you put it on her there, Paul. I know. We jinxed her twice. Mm -hmm. So played to the middle of the green and can't salvage a par here at 16. Does have a par five coming up. See if she can get that right back. Rip a three wood at the par five. That one pitched 15 yards by. I like to get it down there so you can hit kind of a low driving shot so you have to avoid a spinny one. But she's played it well back, so what do I do? Well, she's in a good spot. She missed all the worn out area there, Brad. She's on grass. So she's going to have to choose to drive it in here and run it up or fly it all the way back there, which it looks like she's trying to do. Well, I like that she to go ahead and hit it full. And deep. The rest of that for par. Starting the day three back. Now four up with one to go in round three. Now area Jutania Garn, our leader. And this 250 yard carry over this bunker shouldn't be anything for her, even with her three would be in as downhill as it is. Doesn't matter when you pierce the middle of the fairway. 
This 18th hole is played as the third toughest today. Only five birdies here, the fourth toughest this week. Good line. Oh, and a beautiful swing to finish. A nice little punch. Total control. <laughs> this for birdie. And just comes up a little short. Tap that in for a round of 67. 12 under through three rounds, looking for her second major championship and her ninth win. That's a nice look, had a couple bookend 67s right there. But this day and right now this championship belongs to Aria Jutanyagarn, a seasoned 22-year-old. From Thailand, Aria Jutanyagarn. Had to play 28 holes yesterday, got up at 4 o'clock in the morning because of the delays and then the rain shortened second round here on Friday. And so with a long day under her belt, a full night's rest, she's trying to win her second major championship and become the first from her homeland, Thailand, to win a U.S. Women's Open Championship. So both players find the rough down the right side. That rough is thick. Don't let the iron in her hands fool you. The challenge for her is to not be thinking about the outcome right now, Julie, like you said you were doing. She's got to think about one shot at a time, and there's one of those high iron shots. Beautifully oh. played out of the rough. What a great <laughs> shot, and what a way to start for the championship leader. Here's our leader, Aria Jutanagarn. Start, for birdie. Started with a nice birdie yesterday. Can't she do it? Oh, yes. How about those nerves, Joe? I mean, there's just no flinch at all. Yeah, Julie, it. yesterday she hit a three wood off the three iron off the tee, and they were going to try and elect right. to go up a little bit farther, but that's about the same place they were yesterday. And that is just a bullet. You're probably not even looking at the flag stick, but right edge of that bunker. That shot tracer's right in her reaction. That is a big, big miss, and good luck getting that close to the hole from there. Got to go up in the air to get this close. Oh, goodness. So much for safety first. Left all the way. Just set up by a really bad second shot. Very unusual. We haven't seen anything like that from her the first three rounds. A bogey at two. Mm. When she gets to pull that three wood out, like she does here at the par five, she's like a different player than anybody else you see out here, at least this week, and she's played this third hole at two under. Here at Shoal Creek. Maybe not for direction, but certainly for distance. Long iron off a down slope. And in a good spot. It's a delicate little shot off a good lie. Not great, but not awful. Oh, wow. A birdie at three. Yeah, that is just one. roasted. Beautiful. That's right where you need to put it with a five shot lead. And the desire with that big lead is to get it right on the middle of the green. See if you can to putt this thing and get out of town. Pretty good putt Great right there. Par putt for our leader. No major hiccups yet. Oh. 
Oh, what a shot. When he hit a nice tower, towering high shot. Nobody took your bet. If you want to reach, you got to be in, in the fairway. There's another, just a bullet. My goodness. Very impressive. Two thirty two here. Oh. Yeah. Great shot. And this whole that whole location sets up perfect for area's eye. She loves to draw that ball in there. And here's her long eagle putt. Six feet of break at least. Look at oh. putt. An aggressive putt. Number one in birdies, fifth in scoring, second in putting, eighth in driving. And that's yep. she's eighth in driving just because she doesn't hit driver that much. She got two fifty to that bunker right there. I think it's just in that first cut of rough. This is sure right. did. Yeah. Pretty tricky. I mean, Good shot. She's made everything look easy. Your swings get the most out of their their weight. I mean, you get Sarah Jane, who's not that big, but can can hit the ball out there. I mean, that, that's it. that's unbelievable. Don't think it's not a burden to be that person. And uh, Sarah Pox, she was my partner in the mixed team one year. What a player. What a Great person. Steady on the par threes, clobbering the par fives, and clobbering that putt right there. <laughs> 2016 Women's British Open and rolls in that par to stay at 15 under. That was a no doubter. Inside right. 385 yards and hit an iron off the tee. So envious. at the end. Oh, good read, Brad Faxon. Great putt. Area Jutanagarn. That almost missed the center. There's a creek over there. This hole is intimidating looking, and she's missed by a mile over there by that big great blue hair. And Flapping his jaws there, waiting on a lizard to come by or something. Rules official, from what we're told, yeah, walking over now to figure out where the drop will be. Did anybody see? Well, they said, they, well, the guys that left, they said they had a crossing rate on this leaning tree. Okay, and we we're certain that it is within the water hazard. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that because they, okay. they're in a position to see yeah. it. Okay, so it just here's fine. Yeah, okay. Perfect. All right, thank you. Sure. Well, that was easy enough. Right here. David Fay. Well, uh, the red line is on uh, the, the the golf course side, if you will, of the uh, of the of the creek. That creek is deemed to extend to the right to infinity. So you're, it's not as if there it's marked on the other side. I mean, if you all know, oftentimes if you get into a wooded area, you might say, well, is it in the hazard or is it not? This one is simple. They just extend it to infinity. Or that fellow's swimming pool up there on top of that hill. Probably coming out of there. It's uh. Probably nine. Well, just listen. Don't have to try to do anything. No, no. All right, come on, slow down. Okay. There's houses all around the golf course, but you can't see any of them. 
Brad, that rough's pretty deep over there, huh? It'd be very hard to curve this ball. She's picked a 9 iron out 181 yards. Oh, she caught a pretty good lie in her drop. Oh, she looks like she might be leaning for that to go left a little. Oh. Right. Oh, Paul, that hit the second of those four pine, pine trees. It got very, very lucky and kicked a little bit left, so she's still in the rough with a very difficult shot that looks like it's still blocked out. She has not made a double bogey in this championship. Only five bogeys this week, no others, and she's going to have a tough putt for bogey right there. <laughs> Sometimes you let your guard down. Wow, just a terrible putt here. She'll have that for double bogey. And when you're seven shots clear, I'm telling you the only way with nine holes to go, the only way you're gonna let it get away is to make a big number. Way to miss. Dead on line short. Bleeds out of the hole there at the last second. And suddenly, we have a little bit of drama here. The well, she does, States Open. she does have that par five coming up. Let's see if she can write that three wood. Get, get back in that mental mindset you were in a 25 minutes ago. You like that decision to lay up here? She misses the fairway with it. It's all right. I don't know. I think I'd hit that three wood. Just get it back in my mind that, hey, I can do it. Yep. I mean, this is crucial on this hole to get a yardage that you really feel comfortable hitting your third shot. Because you don't want to leave yourself, especially after making triple, a little in-between shot. Come back. Come on. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, beautiful. That's beautifully played. That's how you stay. That's how you come right back at him. I can't bounce back after the triple with a birdie, but now a tap in par to stay at 13 under. On to the difficult 12th. Way, way back to 22 yards. And this is the hardest hole on the course by a wide margin. And she put the ball in the rough and it brings you back to Brad's point. The great Ken Venturi talked about trajectory leaving you first when you start to get uncomfortable. Just got to make sure that heel doesn't catch first here. Measured that up pretty nicely, it appears. That's a good shot. Third shot for Jutanagarn. Not very good. They got a bad first hop to the left and now sitting on the edge of the green. Now you know the pressure showing up because that's the first really kind of crummy putt she's hit and she's left it woefully short. Here's area for bogey. Area Jutanagarn birdied number nine to get to 16 under and lead by seven. Three holes later her lead is two. She hit that shot just a two yards right of that flight step. It would have been perfect. It's not an easy two putt up the hill. And again, short. Two in a row. She's got 246. To that left bunker. Oh, goodness. Oh, 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 oh. That's 
all going to depend on the lie. But where that hole location is, she's going to have to just go for the fat side of the green. She's not going to be able to go at that pin. leave herself a really delicate shot. No, she's taken a lot of loft. She can definitely land it on the green. It's an uphill lie. This has been her strength all week. She's gotten up and down as much as anybody in the field. Yeah. She made that look easy, and that's really the first good shot she's hit in a while. Almost an hour and a half. That's a nice save. Yeah, maybe that'll loosen her up a little bit. See if she can start hitting some fairways. Yeah. Ooh. 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 That's got to feel good. Ricocheted off a little imperfection in front of the hole. It looked like it was going to miss low. But it, there's a little imperfection, a big ball mark maybe, or something there that turned that thing to the left and it just steamrolled off the flag stick into the hole. There it is. Look at the imperfection. Boom. Just a little bit of a jog. Dead center. Goodness. And now one back. Tit for tat right there. That's a hats off moment. So a missed chance there to open the lead back up to two. Trying to birdie it, she was, for the third time this week. Instead, here at 15, two pars, two birdies. And on to 16, she goes. Little helping wind. Bye. Bye. Yeah, great shot. Oh, what a great shot. <laughs> Absolutely flushed it. I got to get a little golf clap for that. That's a beautiful shot. After that long wait to hit that shot here at 16. Yeah. That is one impressive birdie on one of the most difficult holes of the day. When you needed it the most. Challenge now to get it in a fairway. Oh, what an intangible, Julie, to have that kind of power, to be able to hit a long iron like that. The USGA sign, six iron. It's a big pull. It hit the tree. She got lucky. It hit the tree and kicked it towards the fairway. But she's well back and in the rough. Well, it's downhill. The ball's below her feet. There's a root there, a knobby sort of root. Might have to adjust her stance for it. This screams flyer, this shot. Oh, it screamed flyer loud and clear. That is a terrible place to be. She's got to negotiate that hill, that big mound there. Oh. And a chunk. Oh. You can't leave it short. For Jutanagarn here at 17. Easy putt left for Bogey. Oh. Yeah, a lot of heart there. It's still a bogey. 
Are you nervous? I, I was my, nervous. My palms are sweating. My, one shot lead heading to 18. She just blasted it, striped it right down the middle. Now she's got that dangerous second shot waiting. Solid putt there. What a great round. A round of 67. 11 under for the championship. And at the moment, one back. the bunker. Right at it. She didn't need to go right at it. I think she tried to hit 8-iron there. She did hit 8-iron, Brad, and it lacked maybe two yards. Needing to get up and down to win the U.S. Women's Open. She'll have to make that. Otherwise, we would be headed for a playoff. It's not an easy putt. It's going to be up. Yeah. thing to watch. It just shows you how hard golf is, how cruel golf can be. Of course it's not over. She's gonna get to go play off. Provided this goes in. Which it does. You know and I think she really thought she hit a good iron shot on 18. The batteries ready for too. So a round of 73 today. A round of one over par after shooting 67, 70, 67. That's one of the greatest Jekyll and Hyde performances you're ever going to see. Absolutely flawless on the front nine today. Just couldn't get anything done on the back nine after the triple bogey on 10. You know, just almost as if she thought she had it when she made the birdie on nine, Julie, and she let her guard down. And again, the cruelest of sports is this game of golf. Or... Yoju Kim watching and knowing that she will continue here today at Shoal Creek. Area Jutanagarn just absolutely dominant for the first 63 holes of her championship. Starting the back nine today with a triple. Losing the lead, making bogey at 18 and now having to go to a two-hole aggregate playoff. I think 17 was a killer there, you know, par five. She's got eight on her hand to lay up. Well, the two-hole aggregate playoff, and then after that, if still tied, sudden death. Also, they've already got all your stuff. Oh, yeah, they've had it since Kingsbury. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Jane, congratulations. Area, congratulations. This, just a reminder, this is a two-hole aggregate uh, playoff, um, and you will draw for the order of play. So, Aria? Two? So, Ho Jin? <laughs> you will be one. Very good. All right. Two. 
So here we go. Two-hole aggregate playoff. And Hyoju Kim has gone bogey and then three straight pars through her four cracks at this 14th hole. And Kim has won 15 times out here. She's just the player that area doesn't want to see, I'm sure. She drives it dead straight, hasn't missed a fairway, I don't know, since early on in her round. And, uh, she's only missed five all week. There you go. So she's got to fit this ball between those bunkers. She gets to go first. Advantage Kim right out of the gate. Just makes it look easy. So this is fairway right earlier, and that's headed for the bunkers. That is oh, a big difference right there. Shot. Beautiful shot. I mean, there's not too many ladies who hit that shot right there. Oh, what a putt! <laughs> 24 putts yesterday for Kim, only 25 putts today. And another bomb. A dagger. Add it to the growing list of long putts made by Hyoju Kim. As I said, the very player you don't want to see standing on that tee waiting for you for a playoff. Hyoju Kim is some player. Kind of scooped that a little bit. And it's just weird to me that she would clap after her opponent made that putt. I'd be in another place in a different zone. I might have glared at her more than what. <laughs> I hope she hasn't resigned herself to the inevitable here. She is too good a player. So the lead is one for Hyoju Kim. Two shot. Thank you. That's fairway. Got a nice kick. Is dreadful right there. Terrible angle from the thick rough. Just caught a little knuckleball there. Got a little bit of a break. easiest bunker shot in the world. You've got to go through a little bit of a valley to the green sitting up on a plateau. She tried to clip it, which is pretty brave in my opinion, and it didn't make it. So it's going to roll back down and maybe all the way down into that valley, and it has. So an opportunity for area to get this thing up and down, you've got to get the speed right. It's <laughs> pretty 
pretty good shot under the circumstances. She will have a tap in bogey. And opportunity for area. And she felt like had she hit it a little harder, she had it. A little bit of a teach there. Jutania Yarn. She's got to make this to extend the playoff. And force sudden death, which would pick up back at 14. right there. So they finish tied after the two hole aggregate. I mean, nice if we had Now they will go back to 14. She smothered it. She smothered a bunch of shots coming in. Brad alluded to that earlier that she'd lost her trajectory control with her fairway wood and with her long iron. Another fairway found for Kyoju Kim. Big time flyer. She's hit about three or four flyers here. Oh. Yeah, exactly what she needed to do. Your 50 50 right there. That's a real touch of class right there. She slipped that club right past that ball. This putt to win the U.S. Women's Open Championship. Slides by. A great effort. What a what an effort that was. Uh, beautiful story. That's a beautiful up and down for her. Yeah, these two have been so good inside four feet. The entire championship. This to extend. On to 18, we go again. Shut. Shut. And that's how it's done right there. Yep. Just a carbon property of her last two. I mean, she's hit three in a row, literally. Probably in the same divot. Within five feet of each other. No draw. She got up out of that. And not a good place to be right there. Advantage now for Arctic area. Back bunker. Boy, that adrenaline's a real thing. She just flushed that. So 
Pretty darn good. Taking everything into consideration. Now, Brad, these furrows look like they're going pretty much at the hole here. Well, you know, the bad part for Aria is she's got a downhill lie here in the, in the ball. You can only, about a quarter of the balls, you know, underneath the level of the sand. So this ball is not going to have any spin. So she's going to have to play the ball forward, I think, weight forward and really just fly it like the last shot, just a short distance. She, even on the fringe, you'll get it there. It won't spin. Oh, so good. What a shot. Jutanagarn throws the pressure right onto Hugh Ju Kim. Wow, that is the real deal right there. Let's take another look at this. What a shot. She clipped that thing as well as you could possibly ask for. I'm not sure you could go up there and place it there and hit it any better. Take another look. And you heard it. Just slap that sand. Mom and sister love it. A smile. Kim respects it. Well, Hyoju Kim has had two putts to win. Now she has a putt to stay alive. to move her mark she's going to put it back and the outcome now is clear Joju Kim gave it everything she had and Aria Jutanagarn lost the lead made a bogey at 18 in regulation but with this has won the U.S. Women's Open Championship With her older sister, Moria, there to celebrate with her. What a moment, and what a fight. See the emotion now just come flooding out. Imagine had she had lost that emotion being so different, Joe. But you know what? She handles herself with class. She handles herself with poise. At 22 years old, I mean, she could have gotten mad. She could have gotten thrown the talent. She did the same thing. She made a lot of great shots out of the rough just to make pars and a lot of great scrambling. And how about the sportsmanship? Applauding her opponent's greatness. Area. Yes. Tears Congratulations. Are falling. So happy. Congratulations. She's got her second major championship. First player from Thailand to win a U.S. Open. Well, I'll tell you what, that's as great a bunker shot as you'll ever see a player hit in a certain situation like that, Joe. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. There's a lot of pressure here. Not a great lie. Just a slap of the sand and a tap in to win. What a championship this turned out to be. What a difference in emotion for Aria Jatanya Garn. Had she lost this championship, devastation would have set in. Instead, complete and utter joy. That close to getting your heart ripped out and instead you're a hero of your nation. I mean, the sky's the limit for her. I mean, she can 
do whatever she wants. I mean, she's, her game's good, her long game's good, and her mental aspect was was tested today. And she hung in there and she came out on top. And the level of respect I think she earned today with the ability to play like that in the playoff. It is now my honor to present the gold medal and this magnificent trophy to the champion of the 73rd U.S. Women's Open, Aria Jutanagarn. area. Well, that had to be one of the craziest emotional roller coasters that you've ever gone through in your career. Just take us through the last five minutes of your life. You hit the best bunker shot of this entire championship to win this trophy and win this championship. You know, like, when, I mean, it's pretty good for me to have chance to play off because I didn't have good back nine, but, you know, I didn't hit real good in my playoff, but end up, like, hit pretty good bunker shot, so it's pretty good for me. Yeah, and people have talked a lot about how your attitude this season has changed. You've really stepped it up, and your confidence has, has gone up a lot this year in 2018. How are you able to keep yourself in the game, keep yourself mentally focused when it seemed to be slipping away? Actually, it's pretty tough for me because, you know, it's always up and down in my life. And, you know, for me, it's just like don't put too much expectation and just like make sure I do the thing under my control. Don't think about the outcome. It was an interesting week. You lost your golf clubs to start the week in the airlines. You only got to play nine holes in a practice round. And then you go through 27 holes yesterday and then this long day today. How tired are you after all this? Right now, not really. You know, I end up pretty good, so I'm okay now. Well, congrats. Great play and congratulations on the trophy. Back to you, Joe.